Hello, this is Jonas from VHDLWiz. Let's talk about my audio mixer FPGA course. I have these four MP3 players playing some bangers on repeat, which I've downloaded from an online music library. I've connected them to my FPGA board through these four I2S audio interface cards, and the output goes to this speaker right here. The hardware mixer we'll create in the FPGA is already running on the board and I can control it from my computer here by using this neat graphical user interface. When I move the sliders, the GUI sends the gain values to the FPGA, which adjusts the volume for the four channels and the master gain. I will show you how to quickly create such a GUI application using Python and artificial intelligence. And I'll show you how to easily connect it to the FPGA. But that's not all. Here are some of the things you can learn in this course. How to implement an audio processing circuit using VHDL and hardware multipliers. We'll use the dedicated DSP slices in the Xilinx FPGA to dynamically adjust the gain of our audio channels. And I will show you how to set this up in Vivado for a VHDL project. Creating a derived clock with a mixed mode clock manager, an MMCM. The audio interface requires a specific clock frequency and we'll use Vivado's clocking wizard for that. I'll show you how to set it up and the changes you need to make to the constraint file. Adding a Verilog module to your VHDL design. We'll use a demo design from Digilent to interface the ADC and DSC chips that convert between analog and digital audio. That's written in Verilog, but that's no problem because I will show you how to incorporate it in your VHDL design. Normalizing audio. When applying gain to audio signals, we need to ensure that the volume is still at a sensible level on the output channel too. I'll show you how to do that. Dealing with overflow. If the user sets the gain too high, the volume will at some point become too loud to be represented by a 24-bit audio signal. We need to have a plan for dealing with that to mitigate distortion where we can making a self-checking test bench in Vivado. I'll be using Vivado's built-in simulator because we have Xilinx IP in the design. It's a free and fast simulator, but unfortunately it doesn't support all VHDL 2008 constructs. And I will show you how to work around those limitations to create a proper self-checking VHDL test bench. Now I'm using the Xilinx RTS7 board and these four Digilent PMOD I2S expansion modules to convert between analog and digital audio. But you don't need to have these specific boards to do the course. You can use any other board you have or none at all. If you just want to do this course as a simulation and implementation exercise, I'm going to show everything on my board um, either way. We'll talk about that in greater detail in the second lesson of the course.